Hi everybody and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Last time we ended up in this port town, uh, Renied. Because we had to make a quick detour because our crew came down with Corsair's Scourge. Uh, we also talked to this kid who plays some card game. He cheats like a little bastard. I can't figure it out. I, I've given up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just tilt to this fella. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well, now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out what? of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair's Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's Curse, eh? <laughs> I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, it might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. Well, that just unlocked that path. Okay, so we're on our way to the forest, I guess. There's people who have just suddenly popped up. Were they like that before? I don't think they were like that before. Hello. I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go, with the whining again. <laughs> Those two, they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it! They're going at it hammer and tongs! The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder. And every year our harvest gets worse. And the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now. But in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. <laughs> As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? <laughs> what? Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this non-stop. I'm very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Speaking of hammer and thongs... I go to work very early in the morning every day. Like, ten past five, I work as a postman. This morning, I come out at the end of my road, and the pedestrian crossing near the end of my road. The light is red. And... This guy... Starts crossing across this across the road. Wearing a bright red bra. A black thong. And I mean... That left nothing to the imagination. And thigh-high stilettos. That, that's how my day started today. And... I... I assume he was wearing a wig as well, because he had long hair, but... It was definitely a guy. And... At ten past five in the morning... The demon of Warg Forest? Yeah, I heard about it. It's been the talk of the town round here lately. My guess is it's some kind of invisible demon. Scary, right? An invisible demon? 
A bunch of exorcists got together to hunt the demon, but they couldn't find it. If it's not invisible, then maybe it's so fast they couldn't see it, or too small for them to notice. What kind of watch are they keeping on the forest now? Shouldn't you know? You're an exorcist too, right? Yes, but my duties take me from place to place, and I don't know the details of the demon hunts in this area. I see. I don't really know the details myself either, but I hear the exorcists are patrolling in shifts. Interesting. It sounds like they still might not have a good lead on what this demon is. Please hurry. Find that demon and get rid of it. We won't feel safe until it's gone. You have my word. We'll do everything we can. We're here to find Salatoma. Sorry, but we don't have time to go demon hunting. I know. Well, to be fair, like, one's probably going to be get the other. So, yeah. Also, it seems very convenient that, yet again, the Abbey is, like, controlling a resource. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, stop. Thank you. Right, we have six chests in the area. Uh, there's none on this bit. Hey, Lafayette. said, what's the Reaper's Curse Mogulu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Supposedly. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. <coughs> At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was what? the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Moggy. <laughs> oh, is is that so? I missed you so much. The hazy halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up. Um. Hey, that's not. It must be destiny that we've been reunited. How I wish I could return to your side once more. Um. Do what you want. I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> I've already got Loppy set to look after as it is. Oh, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. Oh, cold. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just so we're clear, Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not. Uh, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. <sighs> Just forget it. <sighs> Yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! <sighs> <laughs> Oh, poor Aizen. What the hell was that? How, how did I not notice that? Did they just not load in? Or am I completely blind? I wish I had been. Ooh, is that the... that's the code red. It's pretty. Eleanor, are you feeling alright? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. <laughs> is Isom's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Mogilu, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Eisen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught demon blight. Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation. <laughs> please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. <laughs> Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. 
and the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me. But as far as the Corsair's scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Oh, how how much does it suck to bump into Eisen and then die from hiccups? That that's harsh. She's so pretty. Why does she have to be a demon when she's so pretty? All right, let's roll. Come at me, bro. Ooh, it's a biggie. That tricks the fiend, winged, and demi human. And they are both demi humans and fiends. Weakness to earth, weakness to fire. Let's get rid of the ads first, as we do. Right, tearing thorn. That sounds like a good place to start. Avalanche fang. Shadow flow. That's new. And something for demi humans. There we go, harsh rebuttal. Which one's. There we go. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of right actually. Is it just those two left? Yes. Alright, you are going down. Alright. Alright, I need to change my arts. I should have done them all at once. Uh, fire, Searing Edge. And that'll be it. I'll just keep the rest as well. All right. Oh. This is actually going really well. Oh. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. And why am I suddenly getting bashed? Oh, I need to fight that. Nice. Oppressor's Venton Ventite further increases damage inflicted during a weak point on combo on moderate difficulty or higher. Excellent. That was a really good fight. That was really clean. I don't even remember what she was called. Um, Kite Red Hunts. Oh, I won't show up there, will it? Enemy book. Uh, trickster. Trickstar, sorry. But yeah, that was a really clean fight. I'm really happy with that. Right. Next up, I think this would probably be the Walk Woods right here, actually. Um, yeah. Warg Forest, sorry. Yeah, this must be the Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. I feel like I've been here before. Is this in Cisteria? Oh, hang on. Hello. This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem then. 
That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. The Abbey's door layer barriers are not easily dispelled but can be operated using switches which activate barriers of the same element. Right, so that's a water barrier. So it's going to be like switching barriers backwards and forwards, isn't it? This is going to be a ball lake. Alright, so it swaps it to fire barriers. Oh boy. <laughs> Tails again, huh? That Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it, but in another sense, it's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you, so you don't rust. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? <sighs> wow. All right, let's have a look at the skit, and then we will finish off. The Reaper's curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Moloch's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? <laughs> oh, your gaze falls on me then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse. Good eye. It's from Carl... It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart. I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. <laughs> I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. Alright. So, Aizen just got... To... Got told... Go away. Right, so next time on Tales of Berseria, we will move deeper into the Walk Forest and retrieve the Salatomas. See you guys then.